Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. This morning I'm heading off to the hair salon. I'm gonna go and sort out my very sweaty barnet that I've got right now. Um, I've just got back from the gym, so oh, I'm out of focus. Great start to the vlog. I just got back from the gym, so I'm looking pretty sweaty. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'd take you guys with me. I think I'm gonna have a bit of like a hair change. Um, I wanna go slightly more autumnal, winter, thinking maybe a little bit darker, but still keeping the blondness in the front. So I'm gonna head off to Daniel Galvin to see Ellie and Steph. So they're the girls that do my hair. The weather today is honestly so depressing. Like, so depressing. When it's raining in London, it is the worst place to be. But when it's sunny, it's one of my favourite places in the world. But yeah, the weather today is honestly just not a vibe. So I've got my foils in around the front. I'm going a little bit darker today. I wanted to bring the blonde that's like here further down. Um, so a bit more of an ombre and then keep the blonde in the front because I love that. Um, but just kind of give it a bit more of a contrast. And I thought, you know, seeing as we're getting into winter, it's always nice to get a little bit darker. And I do love, do love changing my hair colour. I haven't changed it in a while. Okay, so I am back from the hair salon now. I've got my slightly darker front with my blonder. So it's like blonder underneath. And I've gone a little bit more brunette around. So I've kind of done it for two reasons. Um, as you guys know, I am on a hair journey. And to really get my hair better, I figured that I needed to sort of go back to as brunette as I could get it. Um, just to allow it to just give it the best chance it can to get better. Um, so I've got like this sort of like brunette ombre. Annoyingly, we had to cut quite a bit of my hair off. So Steph is the hairdresser that looks after my hair and she always, always, always gives me the honest truth when it comes to my hair. She's very like black and white, which is why I love her because she really looks after it. And she basically said that my front, the side bits just weren't looking great and they, the rest of my hair has really gotten better, which is amazing, but um, I'm still having such issues with breakage around the front. So this other reason why I've gone more of a brunette because I need to stop bleaching the hair. I need it to get like better. Obviously I didn't want to be full brunette, so I've tried to keep some lightness around the front um, because I just, I can't go like cold turkey and just go like full brunette. Um, but yeah, so I'm feeling a little bit gutted about the fact that my hair is still breaking and I'm still, it's still, yeah, it's just, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I might look a bit, I've had a bit of a teary like afternoon about it because it does like, oh God, I'm gonna get sad talking about it. I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. It just basically like, hair is everything to people, you know? And so when it's not at its best, it does like mentally get to you so yeah it's just i just feel like i've been battling with my hair for like years and i feel like i'm finally getting to a place where it's getting better but it's just the front bits are just not doing what they should be doing basically so that's why I just always wear my hair up. That's why you always see me with this hairstyle because there's just this sort of big gap between like here and here of just broken hair that just doesn't grow. And obviously when your hair is broken, you can't do that much to it. So it is a bit shit, um, but it is what it is. And yeah, I just have to like, I just have to trust the process and just continue to do what I'm doing. I'm gonna go and have a keratin treatment on um, Friday. Cause Steph says that they're gonna be really good at sort of building and keeping the strength in it. And yeah, it's just a case of maybe being a bit more brunette for them for a while um, and just trusting the process. I didn't want the beginning of this vlog to be sad or for me to get emotional, but the hair, the hair is, is, is a, my hair is a touchy soft subject. It really is. It, I don't speak super openly about how much it does upset me, but um, yeah, I have been struggling with it for a while. So it, it does, yeah, it's an interesting one. Anyway, so I did actually want to talk about the title of this video, which is me having to get rid of my car. <gasps> um, I wanted to update you guys and share with you what's happened. Also, I'm so sorry, the light seems to be changing so much in here. It's going through serious light changes. I'm probably standing in the worst place to actually vlog this. But yeah, so basically we've had a little bit of an issue. Um, I will let you watch this next bit. Watch the whole thing and you'll fully understand what's happened. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to fill you guys in. So I'm gonna go back in time so that you guys can see what's happened. I wanted to find out what the 
the insurance thing. So what? Yeah. So there are what you, the company uh, A Plan came up with one person that would insure you. How much are they? How much are they? What? How much were they quoting? Nine thousand seven hundred and something. Which so basically is... 10 grand for insurance. So so is it literally because of my age, you think? Yes, yeah. It's more to do with the fact it's your age more than anything driving a powerful car like that. It's so silly though, isn't it? Because it's like I've been driving for so long and I've had no accidents apart from that one guy that drove into me. Honestly, what an absolute nightmare. This is honestly like one of the reasons why... <laughs> Buying a G-Wagon is just not a clever idea, honestly. It's just like, it, I always say that the car is not just a car, it's a lifestyle. It's so expensive to run and you get hit with things like this. So like, for example, when I actually first got the car, um, I bought it when I was 23. And on the day that the dealer was like, you can come and collect the car, I'd waited like six months for it to come, which was obviously so exciting. And then... Basically on the morning, we rang up the insurance that I was with currently on my old car, and like you do, normally you just ring up on the day you go to collect the car and go, hey, I'm getting a new car today, wanna to do my insurance, so I can go pick it up. So we're on the phone and the insurance company just basically were like, yeah, no, we can't insure you on that. And I was like, what? And they basically said, yeah, sorry, because of the size of the engine and your age, we just won't insure you. And I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? I'm due to pick this car up in like an hour. So we trawled the internet and we finally found an insurance company that would insure me and it was like £8,700 for insurance for the first year and I was like, <sighs> bearing in mind I was about to go and pave to pick up this car so I was like this is just all just crazy but obviously at the time I was like I've ordered the car, I've put my deposit down, like I have to go and pick the car up, I didn't have a choice. So I paid that then, and then obviously the insurance company was like, you know, it will go down as you get older and blah, blah, blah. So then the next year we insured in, it was nowhere near as bad. I think it was like, I mean, it was still expensive, don't get me wrong, but it was like £4,000 for insurance. Um, and that was because obviously I had a driveway and then we moved to London and I had a, like under building car parking space. <laughs> That was the technical term. So yeah, we had a car park underneath. And um, yeah, so obviously it was all fine and just told them that we moved to London, it wasn't an issue. And then, I don't know, I just thought when we moved to where we moved now, I mean, I know that there was street parking, but I never in a million years thought that this was gonna happen. I just, I didn't. And maybe it's really stupid of me to have thought that, I don't know. Um, but I just, I just can't bring myself to pay, to pay 10 grand on insurance because it's just an absolute like piss take. And as I was saying to my mum, it just upsets me because it's like, just because of my age, I'm being like penalized and yeah, I don't know. I just can't pay 10 grand on insurance. It's just stupid. Like that would just be silly. Yeah. So basically I'm going to have to have a bit of a think and make a decision but it's not looking good should we say which is really sad because it's like my dream car and i don't want to get rid of it but i can't i don't know and then i'm weighing up options because it's like i don't drive that much now that we live where we live i walk everywhere i use my car probably like twice a week maybe um to drive to like the sla office and then obviously to drive when i'm maybe shooting but but hey if worse comes to worse i have to get rid of it it's just a car it's not my health it's not anything it's just a car i might have a bit of sentimental value to it because it was my you know it was a big thing that i bought when i was 23 and it meant a lot apparently not supposed to get sentimental about cars so yeah anyway i'll keep you guys updated so guys i'm currently sat at home watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians, but I've had a pause because this has just arrived. So I just had a DHL man knock on my door and I was pretty sure that I knew exactly what it was gonna be. I'm so excited. So this is a rug that I've ordered for the sofa. So I saw this rug on Instagram it actually came up as like a sponsored ad. I feel like it's the first time I've seen an ad on Instagram that's actually been useful. Um, anyway, I went onto there. So I don't think I can say the name. Philly, I don't honestly don't even know. I'm gonna put it here so you guys can see the brand name. It's Swedish and I think I'm not gonna do it any justice if I try and say it out loud. So yeah, so I'll just add the uh, brand name in here. And it's this unbelievable, oh my God. This looks insane. Oh my God, stop. Look at this rug. Oh my God, this rug is the most amazing thing 
ever. Look how fluffy and soft that is. That is so dreamy. It's got these like big tassels on the end. Oh my God. I love when things arrive and they're so good. This is gonna be amazing. So this is for up here to go over the sofa for basically just like a big snuggly, just cuddle sofa vibe. Um, oh my God, it's amazing. I'm gonna put it on the sofa so I can show you guys what it looks like. I'm definitely gonna have to have a play with where I want to put the rug. I'm just so undecided right now and I actually need to leave the house. So I'm not gonna faff around with it so too much, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like on the sofa. While we're on the subject, I may as well show you guys our new sideboard. Please ignore all of this, it's actually being picked up tomorrow. But so this sideboard has arrived. This is from Heels. Um, it's like a solid oak sideboard it's absolutely amazing i love the color of the wood and it's got these sort of like pull out drawers for all of our sort of electronics and tv stuff um and then we're obviously going to get all of the wires and things like that and make sure we put them in here but i want to get something sort of cover the front of that because i don't really want to see the wires um but yeah i absolutely love it it's so good we've got the tv on it currently but I do think that we'll probably put the TV on the wall because I want to put like little, you know, I've got I've got those three candles on there currently. But I want to put like really nice things to kind of decorate the sideboard. So when the TV's on the wall, obviously it gives me a bit more room to do that with. So yeah, so here's it from a slightly further away angle. And then once the walls are painted white, we're going for like a really similar colour to the sofa. Just to sort of warm the room up because it's a little, the grey sort of a bit cold. And um, it's going to look so nice against the sofa and the brick and all that kind of stuff. So it's all coming together slowly but surely. We've got a rug on order as well for this space. And then hopefully a dining room table is going to arrive to go here tomorrow, actually. So fingers crossed that arrives, which I'm very excited about. Um, but yeah, we'll keep you guys updated. So I'm currently sat in my car as I've driven out to my hometown today. Um, I'm going back to the Mercedes dealership that I bought the car from um, just to talk to them about like how you sell them and what I do with the next steps of getting rid of it, um, which I really don't want to do. I'm not happy about this. I'm really not happy about it, but I'm trying not to dwell on it. It has to be done, um, and I have to do these next steps. So, yeah, so that's what's happening. Also, um, I am going to pop into the new SLA office. Um, we got ourselves a few weeks ago now an office just outside of London, um, obviously because I wasn't going to be paying at London prices for an office that I wasn't going to use too much. So I can show you guys the new office space that we've got, which is very exciting because obviously it's the first office that SLA has and that's actually a very big move um, because one day when SLA is a full empire and I'm in a big office somewhere I will remember the day that I had this tiny weeny little room um, but yeah it's quite nice you know it's always good to have a little bit of progress in your journey um, so yeah so I can show you guys it's very sort of new at the moment and very makeshift. Welcome to our new little SLA office. Welcome. How exciting. <laughs> this is our this is our room. It's actually very cute. You guys have done such a good job with the um, boxing thing. I'm glad we saved these now. We These are the things that were in my old flat. And I obviously didn't want to take them to the new house. And they've actually come in handy now. Because they're SLA-like organiser things. So I've got this very lovely bay window. Which I think is really nice. This was what we liked about it, didn't we, Mum? We did. Yeah. yeah. Right. And of course, you know, it was Susie and I that decided that we'd mishmash the boxes. Yeah, the very, boxes. yeah, wow, I love that. <laughs> and you've painted the chairs up so they're nice and fresh. Bit of DIY. Then this big white table, we're going to get a big sticker to go on it. So it's all like, so it's gonna, I just want like a massive SLA across the middle of the table. You know, if when we have all those really seriously important meetings. Seriously and important. What are we going to do if we have a friend who comes to visit? <laughs> We'll have to get, we'll have places. to get T H E and then label. We'll just start growing as as the as the office grows. We can literally spell out the label at the end. And we we'll have to get the new um, cards. Yeah. Because there's loads of them now. Well, the reason I did these, I don't know if I've actually ever said, but obviously in the order that I've got like quote cards. So we've got like that one and then there's this one over here. Um, but it was basically I changed them every few months because I wanted them to almost be sort of like a collect a collection sort of thing. Because um, you guys might know or you may not know, but I'm obsessed with quotes. So, And then these are our new gift boxes, PR boxes for um, gifting influencers, which are very exciting. They are nice, aren't they? It's a very solid box. This is the first time that we've ordered a PR box, so it's actually the first time I've seen it. Looks nice. And then, of course, we have um, the rail of the SLA clothing, which has pretty much got every sample and every range that we've ever had, I think. We've got a lot still to hang up. Um, we need to get another rail. 
But um, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff on here that maybe didn't launch. There's a lot of stuff on here that has launched, and there's stuff that maybe will still launch. Um, but it's nice to have it all in one place now. We're back home now. Um, went in, had a chat with Mercedes about selling the car, and I think. To be completely honest, I think it's going to be best if I just sell it privately, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, at least it doesn't seem like, it seems like it's held its value pretty well. We had it valued at Mercedes, so that's good to know because when I bought it brand new at 23, it's not until you get a bit older that you realise how stupid that was to do. Don't be buying brand new, really expensive cars. Anyway, a lot of life lessons have been learnt with that car, um, but hey ho. So yeah, so at least that, uh, it's nice to know that it's not going to be too much of a stress to actually like get rid of. Um, yeah, now I've just got to just think about what car I can get that will be not a disgusting amount to insure. I will probably go back to a Wrangler, I reckon, because I had a Jeep Wrangler before I had the G-Wagon. Um, and I did love it, and they are very cool looking cars, so I will probably be getting another Wrangler, I would say. Especially because they're only like 2 litre engines, not 6 point whatever. So yeah, anyway, so now I'm back home, I thought I would show you guys some new pieces that have arrived for the flat. It's so exciting, as I've said, so much is arriving and it's getting, little by little it's getting there. Um, we've got paint samples also on the wall, um, picking sort of colours for this lounge room and also downstairs. So I'll show you guys around. So here we have the three samples on the wall. Um, I'm definitely going to go with this one at the end here, I absolutely love this colour. I think it's called Pointing. I will double check the brand of the paint, but yeah, it's such a nice colour. It's funny because when we started painting this one on first, I thought this was going to be my fave, but when you put the other two next to it, it makes this one look quite yellow. Um, but that's just such a nice shade. It's very warm. Um, so yeah, it's going to work really well sort of with the couch colour. And yeah, I'm just really excited about that. So obviously you guys have seen the sideboard, which I showed you last week. Um, but I've got these. So these have just arrived. These are amazing. So these are glass candle holders. They're actually from Sophie Conran. Um, I'm just obsessed with them. Annoyingly though, we got two and I was just opening opening them and oh I don't know if I can get into this with one hand basically I'm not going to open it properly because it's um it's all smashed in there which is really sad so yeah I just don't think they traveled that well you can kind of see in there they're all smashed um but it's fine I'm gonna get them to send out a new one I suppose it's the only trouble when you have to send glass items so that's new also I've got these really cute so they're, they're like little silver dishes to kind of like put little things in they're so cute um so they are also from sophie conran but i love these just kind of put like little single flowers in and just like decorative pots and stuff they're just such a lovely sort of accessory so that's the kind of home accessories that we've got up here so these are the bedside tables that have arrived which i absolutely love i'm so excited about them they've got this sort of like rattan top to them i really wanted that sort of like shabby chic sort of look to mix sort of with the iron um, bed we've obviously got the marble lamp so it's sort of a mixture of textures which is great there's so much space in these as well so um lots of storage these are from i think they're from graham and green but I will double check. Obviously, we've got the lamp that you guys have seen, which is also from Graham and Green. And then we've got some paint samples on this wall. But in this room, we're actually going to go for this more whitey colour. Um, just because this, again, is almost that little bit too yellow. So it's very exciting to sort of have the samples up on the wall. Still got the mattress <laughs> on the floor. But hey, we're getting there. Um, slowly but surely. The other really exciting thing is tomorrow I have a guy coming to put my walk-in wardrobe all up together, which is, it's all happened at once. So these um, packed wardrobe specialists got back to me and I thought he was coming next Wednesday, but I think I might have gotten it wrong and he messaged me today and was like, oh, I can come tomorrow and I was like okay uh sure I was like I will move anything around for this I just want them up so that's so exciting so in next week's vlog that will be where you guys get to see it so no so as you can imagine I am so excited I'm gonna be like I don't think I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight I'm gonna be like a kid at Christmas waiting for this bloody wardrobe to go up um yeah so I can't wait for you guys to see that one in next week's vlog and see all the way I've sort of designed it and all the, just the way it looks really. So I am just going to end this vlog here. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this one. It's slightly random. I, mean, I know most of it revolved around my car, but I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing the new SLA office and of course some of the new home furnishings. As you can see, it is slowly coming together, um, but I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying seeing the little bits and kind of seeing it all come together. But thanks so much for watching as always guys, and I will see you all in my next video.